Good day. We are covering new listings this past week in Johnstown Inn and Windsor. And let's go to the map. Here we have, uh, this one's up on Red Fox Circle, up in Severn, so we'll have to figure what that one really is. But we have quite a few. We have, t I think, 21 in, in this area today. Down here is Johnstown. This is Johnstown. This is Johnstown. Um, I thought there was something down here in Thompson River Ranch and it didn't look like it, so this may be part of it, but we'll have to just take a look. So the map's a little bit small for us to see, but that's okay. We will move on and see what we can find here. So we've got 21 listings. The most expensive one today is in Windsor at 745. And then there's Red Hill on 30. And I put these in the home of the Johns and Johns area. So if this was in Johns and Johns, it's about the same. So we have two listings in the same very good city property. So it's going to sell it for a little bit more cash. I know it started, but my son is uh, rather hopeful and interested. And they were wanting to be a cash buyer. This one's on sale at cash first until it sells, which we sold yet. Yet we have to wait. The, the original John Town Place is on sale. And I don't know where it's just out of Florence. I don't remember where it is. I know it's out of Florence somewhere. I have to look and see where it's located. Anyway, it was started with Fred Jr. Anyway, um, looks like it's got some interesting potential. And let's move on because we have. 21 houses to cover in less than 5 minutes. Winsong in Johnstown is at 180. There's 100% financing available. It's a better than 2 bedroom, 2 bath home with oversized 2 car garage, full and finished basement. And it looks like we're going to actually cover all the pictures on that one. Green Wing Drive in Johnstown. They happened to list it the day that it snowed. Um, it's a two-story with vaulted ceilings, private master bath suite, retreat, a fireplace off the bedroom. Um, looks like kind of a nice house. And on all of these, there's more pictures than we can see in the time period, so you'll have to come back. We're still in Johnstown, and this is probably the most expensive one in Johnstown, so I'll have to take a look. It's on Lakota Lakes at 625. It's... Um, 40 minutes to the Pepsi Center with access to 42 acres of trails in the neighborhood. Quiet, calm, peaceful cabin. Did it say cabin? Location, and yet close to many amenities. It has a private lake, great for motorsport, fishing, swimming, and two ponds as well. Uh, another one to come back to look at, and let's see if that was the most expensive one, and it was not. Oh. This one's interesting. They call here's what's different. They call this one location Loveland, but locale is Johnstown. So this one is a little confusing because it is in Thompson River Ranch, and Thompson River Ranch truly is Johnstown. I don't know why they called it Loveland, but it is in um, it's just east of Loveland, and even more interesting, it's in Larimer County and not Weld County. So this one is, I was trying to see if this one is for sale. It looks like it is. Um, those skinny pictures make it hard to see. So what you need to do is go look at the virtual tour because that's what those photos are for. Great move in. Ready first time home buyer. We're in Windsor. We're at 158. This one was built in 1979. That looked like a wood fireplace. Columbine Drive in Windsor. One picture. More pics coming soon is what the agent says. They want us to know they don't have all the pictures there. 6th Street in Windsor at 175. It's a four-level home. Uh, very hard of Windsor. Covered patio and large fenced yard. This one has uh, 16 photos. It was built in 1971. Looks a little cluttered. Uh, if these folks are really going to sell, they might as well start packing up now. I mean, when you would go in a house, you want to know that they can move. And if you want to close in 30 days, know that they can make that work. This one you can move into within 30 days. It's a five-bedroom, three-bath. It's on, um, built in 1998. It's in Governor's Farm at 2049. We have one on Fairfield Avenue in, in Windsor at 249. Um, let's see here. Lots of wood floors and... 
think I need to go a little bit faster. I feel like I'm running out of time. Bay of Bean is in Peak View Estates for 325. 19 photos, and it looks like there's some granite. That looks like a nice kitchen. Looks like there's some, you know, that's kind of a teaser. Let's go in and take a look. Red Fox Circle is in Fox Ridge in Windsor. We're up to 375 already. Lots of nice looking kitchen and areas to look at. This one's in Fossil Ridge. Beautiful home on a large .33, large quiet area. And let's see, moving on, Fossil, another one in Fossil Ridge. Water Valley South. It's uh, according to the agent one of the best values in the, in the stone water patio homes. It's a lot, and you know what? I think that's the area that they had more finish to do in there. But there, what was there was really nice. This is in Belmont Ridge on four hundred nine thousand. Huge price reduction by thirty thousand. Beautifully new, nearly new, well maintained, granite countertops, volume sink. I was trying to see if there was a finished basement here. Total finish is 2410. Without the basement, it's 2410. Total square footage is 3749. So it's all no basement finish for 409. Sea Drift in Windsor is in Water Valley South. Not a short sale or foreclosure. Kind of sad that we have to now start promoting things that way. Looks like a lovely home. Osprey is 493. This one's in Hilltop Estates in Pelican Hills. It's a warm and wonderful. This one's on 2.2 .2 acres, so we'll um, know that it's in Windsor, so we won't cover this tomorrow when we look at our acreage property. And we have just two more to go. This one's on Stoge, Stagecoach Road in Windsor. It's for 599000 It's on three acres. We have over 4,000 square feet here, and we have over 4,000 square feet finished. Isn't this a great home? Look at this log cabin in Willow Springs. It's on a paved road. One that you should take a look at, too. And this last one of the day to view is a ranch with outstanding views. Walkout basement. It's in High Point. It's on point three one of an acre. It's got a double oven. Lots of features. More, more listings than we can cover today. So take a look. Come back and view it, my pictures, and we'll talk later. Thanks. Give me a call if you want to see anything or have any questions.